everyone, and thank you so much for joining the Health IT Playground. We've been out for a minute, but I am back, and I am very excited to be speaking with my guest today. Her story is amazing, and I cannot wait for you guys to get some motivation, especially for those that are out here in the job market trying to get a position in this crazy economy that we're in right now, especially for health IT. So I have with me Shantia Jackson, and I'm going to have her just introduce herself a little bit more, and then we're going to jump right into this interview. Okay. Hi, everybody. I'm Shantia, of course. Um, a little bit about myself. I am from Miami, Florida. Um, originally, before you know, getting into health and everything, I do come from a pharmacy technician background. So that's, you know, just a little, a little something about me, you know, just to get started. Awesome. Awesome. And the reason why I wanted to speak with Shantia today is because she recently has found a job working as a data analyst at a health IT company. But there is a twist to this, something that a lot of people um, often freak out about when it comes to finding jobs in the industry. And that surprise is, I'm going to let her say it. I, I don't have a college degree. I'm just a high school graduate. And that's it. No that college is, degree. That is it, guys. That is it. There is no excuses. Health IT is a career that is open for all, for all. There are a lot of opportunities. And if you are doing the work and if you are um, taking advantage of the opportunities out there, you can be in her shoes working in the field right now. So um, before we get into the details of that, because I'm excited, as you guys can see, um, let's first start off with how did you even learn about health IT? Let's just start there. So the way that I actually learned about health IT was first learning about the whole, you know, tech field in general. And I actually found out about that on TikTok. So I saw a lot of like videos and, you know, I was just trying to see where I could fit in. So, you know, once I seen the videos and got interested in it, I did my own research and seeing like what are different, you know, fields that you can be in and, you know, tech. So I came across the healthcare realm and I'm like, well, you know, I already have the healthcare experience again because, you know, I come from the pharmacy background. So I already have that experience. So once I seen the data analyst, I was like, well, this is perfect because, you know, it's not too techy, it's not too computery, but it's still in the same field. It's not too much. And I felt comfortable doing it. Once I did get into it, I was like, well, this is perfect. Like, this is, you know, I found my I found my niche. Like, this is it. OK. And I'm curious because I'm not a big TikToker. Uh, I do watch from time to time and people send me clips. But just I don't know, this will be plugging them most likely. But who are some of the influencers on TikTok that you were watching that got you to this point? OK, so I wish I wrote them down, but I didn't. But. It's one girl, her name is Data Baby. She um, gave me a lot of resources. I believe that I got the um, resume template from her. It was another one called Annie Analytics. She did provide a lot of resources as well. You know, I'm going to get that for you. Yeah, and I and I will uh for those that are TikTokers, I will be and I'm sure that's probably not the term, but <laughs> whatever the term is, I'm gonna be sure to put that in the description as well for those that are yeah. looking to kind of see what she was using, you know, just as she was on this journey. All right. So that's especially the data baby one because she is in health tech. She's a mental health data analyst. So mm -hmm. she's the perfect, that's the perfect one. Awesome. Yeah, I will be sure to put her information for you guys. So yes. no worries there. Um, now, the thing I want to talk about now is just about your educational background. So we've already said, hey, this is not someone that had to go get a master's and do all these things. Um, she found and made her own pathway to get into uh, health IT. So uh, please share with us what your journey has been as far as education. OK, so, you know, high school diploma and then I came across the um, Coursera course on um well I came across the course on Coursera it's the Google Data Analyst certification course and it's like a six month program but it's self it's self paced so you don't have to use the entire six months you can complete it within less than six months because I did it within like a month 
So it's up to you how fast you go, but that's the only thing I did. And outside of Coursera, I also did the LinkedIn learning courses. Um, there was like a it's a data analyst path that they have on there that I just followed. And then I also did YouTube, you know, free. I did Alex the analyst on YouTube. He has like a lot of data analyst videos in Excel, SQL, Power BI, Tableau. Like I so I was like on his page and like so and he also have projects that you can do as well. So you it's hands on. It's not like he's just teaching you the stuff and that's it. You can actually apply it. So I definitely did his classes and I did a um and, you know, just like I found a random Excel course that I also took on there as well. But YouTube and LinkedIn learning outside of Coursera, you can do those as well. And YouTube is free. So yes. you can definitely find everything you need there if exactly. you can't, you know. Exactly. And and that's that's a good lesson right there that we we sometimes feel like we have to spend a lot of money in order to learn a new skill. But there are a lot of free resources out there that are ready and and it just requires you taking the time to actually watch them, do the work and then exactly. use those to better yourself. So that's that's very encouraging. Um, you recently and are about to start your data analyst position. I don't know if, if you want to plug the company or not. It's completely optional up to you. Um, but tell us about your job search journey, because it is. Trump, it is it is terrifying out there right now trying to find a position. So tell us about your journey to getting your position. Okay. So you're watching the show and you're thinking, I want to talk about my college. I want to talk about my career. Well, I would love to have you. I'm currently looking for speakers to talk about either their HIM program experiences or even about their career. So if you're interested in being on the health IT playground, please email me at riaready at gmail.com. Once again, the email is riaready at gmail.com. Now, back to the show. Okay, so first, the company is Elevance Health. It's um, a health insurance company. But, you know, they have so many positions, and they have a lot of positions. They have a lot of entry-level positions. But as far as my job search... It was tough. Like, I'm not even going to lie. Like, I applied to so many jobs. I applied to over 500 jobs. So it wasn't like I was just sitting there, you know, like every day I was waking up, like I was sitting at work and I was applying to jobs. Like, so the whole eight hour shift, I'm applying to jobs. And also what I did was I would apply to like one job at the company. And then I would go on their website and see if they had any other roles that, you know, aligned with me. And I would apply to those too. So, you know, some companies I'm applying to like two or three jobs. I got a lot of no's. And it was it did get discouraging, but you know I just had to tell myself, you know, it's okay because the your yes is gonna come, like the right one for you is gonna come, and it finally came. So you know, don't get discouraged. Is those emails they do get frustrating, but you know, some what I also did was just take a time, take time. Like sometimes I was like, okay, this week I'm not gonna apply to no jobs. I'm not even gonna think about it. Like just gave my gave myself some time to you know just to decompress and just get out of that little funk that I was in. Mm -hmm. Once you know, because those rejections they do take a toll on you, especially when you're looking for something immediately. So I definitely recommend like once you if you feel like you're getting to that point, just take a break, like step away from a little bit, and you know regroup and get yourself together, and then you know keep going. I love that. I love that advice and. You know, as you are doing all these interviews and all this stuff, like what tips do you have for people when it comes to, you know, how to dress? Like, were you doing Zoom interviews or were they in person? Like, just what tips do you have for the viewers? So majority was Zoom interviews or the other one, like the higher view where, you know, you're just talking to yourself. So, you know, of course, I just were like the top, you know, <laughs> business in the front, <laughs> party in the back, you know. <laughs> But yeah, I just wore like a button up or something just to look presentable at top. And then that was it. Okay. So they all like, you know, they're all basically, I look for remote jobs. So we weren't really meeting face to face anyway. Gotcha. So they all were like either like Zoom team or like the higher view where you answer the questions and it's just you talking to the thing or whatever like that. Okay. So just a, a nice button up. If you want to put on a cardigan, go to extra mile. 
go ahead. <laughs> and what and what questions came up the most from all of your interviews? Like, what was the common question that you're like, oh my god, again, the same question. The, the most question I got was basically if I knew how to, for somebody that didn't know anything about data, if I knew how to, you know, make the um, visualizations where they could understand exactly what was going on if they didn't know anything at all. That was the most question I got. Like, they, like, if I knew how to work Tableau for the most part. So mm-hmm. I was like, you know, yeah. I, you Because what I did was when I did do my visualizations on Tableau, I sent them to my friends that knew nothing at all. So I was like, do you know what's going on? And it's like, yeah, it's like, okay, so I know what I'm doing. So oh, definitely awesome. rely on your friends too as well. God, yes, that's great. Yeah. You just have to have a support system exactly. in your, on your journey because if you're trying to do it alone, it's it's tough. It's hard, exactly. For sure, for sure. Okay, so I actually learned and saw that you got this brand new job on LinkedIn. So I know everyone always posts the, yay, I made it. So were you excited to you know be a part of that group of people to just, showcase that you got something new yes i was like finally it's my turn because you know you see like it's like every other day you see somebody posting and it's like man i'm sitting here applying to all these jobs like when is it going to be my turn and you know it's like i finally got that turn so it's like thank you but it's like you don't get you i was genuinely happy for everybody else but it's like at the same time it's like when is it going to be my turn <laughs> and then it finally came and it's just like i was just like I'm one of them now. Like yeah. I can make my post. Like finally. Yes. So that was like amazing. Awesome. And just another question. So, what are your views on promoting LinkedIn for people that are looking? Do you feel like having a LinkedIn profile is key or critical to success? I believe that it is critical because you know. Even if you don't have to be like directly connected to somebody else, like you can see, like say for instance, if you post something or if somebody that you know posts something and you comment or if you like it, I can see it. So maybe if they have an opportunity for me that I didn't know about, I can see it because I'm connected through you. Or like you can always like engage with other other data analysts or other people that's been in the field longer than you that has that information. So like I, I do feel like LinkedIn is a great place. Like you you need a LinkedIn. If you don't have it, you need to at least, you know, get one or if you do have one, optimize it and, you know, get it up to date. And also, I do want to say, like, take the aspiring out of your name. It doesn't matter if you don't have the role. Take the aspiring out of your name because I never had it in my name. So I was around here. Healthcare data analyst, senior data analyst, like, that was my thing. I not aspire. You're not aspiring. The role is yours. So don't put aspiring in your title. Take it out. I love that. I love that. I love that. I am I am motivated to do um or make content about using LinkedIn and the and the benefits that comes out of having a good profile cuz people yeah. don't take LinkedIn serious and it really makes a big difference when you're looking it for does. opportunities. Awesome. Does. I am motivated. This is good. This is good. This is good. And Future goals. You are now starting your data analyst position soon. Yes. So five years from now. Five years from now. Where do you see yourself? Five years from now, I see myself as a senior healthcare, de- healthcare data analyst, you know, working my way to become like supervisor and then eventually manager. So, you know, five years I'm giving myself. And in five years, I want to be a supervisor. So if I'm not there, I'm give, I'm saying that I'm a senior data analyst in five years, but my goal is to be a supervisor of a senior healthcare data analyst. So I love that. Claim it. That's all you have to yes. do. Claim it and receive it. I love that. I love that. And you've been giving out a lot of advice for um, a lot of people, and hopefully this is helping those that are in the job hunt right now. But mm-hmm. just to kind of close it off, what advice would you give someone that is looking to become a data analyst at any stage, degree or not? Because I know there's a lot of people looking for positions. So what's your advice? Don't get hung up on that first job is going to be that six-figure salary because that is not the case. Get that out of your head because I was, when I first started searching for jobs, you know, I they was asking for salary. I was putting like 80000 100000 you know. But I'm like, 
you don't have we don't have that experience we don't as many transferable skills as you have you don't have that actual experience so mm-hmm. you can get close but your first role is not going to be six figures like so once you yep. like get that like erase that from your mind you will feel like a lot easier like a lot you'll get a lot of feedback from the positions that you apply to once you, you know, entry level, because what I did was I did entry level Mm -hmm. and I didn't do, you know, entry level. I didn't do no salary or anything. I kept it entry level, you know, remote or whatever location, but just keep it entry level, like true entry level positions, because some of them will say entry level, but then five to 10 years, Mm -hmm. but then it can be five to 10 years of your transferable skills. Because my position is at two to three years, but then it said, if you have, you know, other skills. So I'm like, okay, there we go. That's how I got in. Just from that little. So if anyone wants to reach you for any future data analysts, uh, people, anyone that's just trying to be in this field, yes. how can they reach you if they have any other questions for you? Well, I am on LinkedIn. Okay. Shantia Jackson, my name. And then, you know, I, I also am on TikTok. I'm going to start doing like the days in the life so people can, you know, I can't really do too much because it's healthcare and we have HIPAA laws. So I can't show, you know, <laughs> a bunch of nothing. But, yes. <laughs> you know, just to answer like a little question, you know, like what tools or everything we use, I will be on TikTok. And my TikTok is you love Tia with three A's. So T I A A A. But yeah, Spell either LinkedIn. Out all the way for them, for those. Got you. Just so they get it. What? Y O U Y O U L O V E L O V E T I A A A T I A A A for those yes. that are writing this down, okay? Yes. Follow her on TikTok, okay? Follow and, me. Yes, and TikTok is is a great place. I know there's a lot of dancing going on, but apparently but it's people are learning a lot of great resources and stuff on there. So maybe I need to get on TikTok. Um <laughs> I will look into that myself. <laughs> But uh, sure? for sure. Um, but thank you so much for your time. I hope that this video was helpful for helpful for anyone out there that is trying to get a job and is just pretty much discouraged. Just keep on going, like she said. It is doable. And if you're into data analytics, then here's your girl right here. <laughs> Feel free to reach out to her, and you know she'll show you what she's learned. All right. So. Yes. Yeah, any final words before we close? Um, No. (laughs) No? All right, all right. So in that case, we're going to go ahead (laughs) and close this out. Uh, Thank you guys once again for watching the Health IT Playground. Please subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next episode. Bye. Bye.